All right, Yard family, uh, I know I met the missus yesterday, but I'm gonna reiterate a couple of the things I talked about uh, for both of y'all's benefit so that you can kinda you know, know all the facts and make a decision based upon there. So we're gonna start right back where we started with Challenger Homes at Ventana. So Challenger Homes, we are a local builder. We started here in Colorado Springs the year 2000. We are now the largest home builder in El Paso County. This is not only Fountain's first ever master plan community, but it's gonna be ours as well. So we're building a big community rec center. Inside of that, we're gonna have a workout facility, pool tables, an eat-in kitchen, and a kid zone. Outside, we're gonna have a dog wash station, a lap pool, leisure pool, and a hot tub. The other really unique thing about this specific community is the fact that we're gonna hook up with the Adams open space. So basically, that's over 27 acres of protected area. We're building over a mile of paved trails that will connect with the existing trail system and go all the way to Metcalf. Putting in two soccer fields, a playground. Also, we're going to install the front and rear landscaping, sprinkler system, and a five-foot vinyl fence around the rear, which is really cool. A lot of the other builders down here won't do any of your rear landscaping, and that's pretty pricey. We do not have an HOA down here. We are managed by the Metro District. The fee for that right now is $15 a month. It's gonna go up to 45 once the rec center is done. It'll cover your common area maintenance, including all those playing fields, trash pickup, and rec center. So it's super, super affordable. Uh, the spaces we'd be looking at to get you in your desired time frame of July are gonna be some of these purple dots up here. I know I told you yesterday that we had two options for the Reagan, but I had just left my builder meeting and this one on lot 28 for the 1811 plan. Uh, we're still having a fit issue with the City of Fountain based on how that lot is situated. So we do not yet have a permit on it. I don't feel comfortable about giving you a July completion on that one. So if we do want to do the Reagan, uh, your option is going to be right here. This is a great home site for a couple different reasons. The first one is that you're going to have this nice little walking trail next to you. You're not going to back up to anybody for at least five to seven years. Uh, even if we do build back here eventually, you're going to have about a 20-foot easement behind your property before the next backyard starts. So you can walk right out your front door and down to the rec center and the pools if you want. If you do, however, want to do the Madison floor plan, uh, you're going to have two different options. Option number A is going to be lot 29 up here in this cul-de-sac. So cul-de-sac's pretty cool. 29, sorry, right here. Cul-de-sac's awesome. Uh, you will be a little bit closer to the railroad tracks up there, but I'll show you that when I take you out and demonstrate the home site. Uh, option number B is going to be it's a lot 41. Lot 40, sorry, 41 sold. So lot 40 right there. So again, you're gonna back up to that nice open space on lot 40. Now I know you guys aren't just buying the home to resell it, and I know you're also considering uh, staying on post. I will tell you, um, from a financial standpoint, purchasing here rather than renting uh, might benefit you very much in the long run. Uh, obviously, if you rent on post, you know, you're just giving that BH to them. Us, uh, once you go to resell the house, you might be uh, real happy. You might be leaving Colorado if you do with a couple extra bucks in your pocket. Uh, a couple reasons for that are the earlier you can get into a community, the better. And we are still in our first filing down here. Uh, we have a total of five filings, 387 single family homes, which put it at about a four to six year build out. Earlier you can get into a community, the better. We're projecting with filing two, seeing about 15% in overall price increases this year. So it's pretty cool for you guys. Uh, if you look at this map right here, this is where we are in Ventana, right down in the heart of Fountain, Colorado. Another benefit to being in Fountain is your real estate taxes are gonna be a little bit less expensive than Colorado Springs. We're about 20% cheaper than Lorson Ranch right up the road. This is where the park and the soccer fields are going in. You can kind of see how big that Adams open space is that we hook up with. John Metcalf has all sorts of cool amenities. Uh, it's gonna have a dog park, skate park, uh, volleyball fields. It even has an equestrian track for horses. 
Uh, if you do want to get to the highway or for your commute to post, you're just going to take a right right here on Old Pueblo, your first left on Illinois, and all this brown area right down here is Fort Carson. So we're literally two to three minutes away from I-25 as well as post. So it's going to be very, very convenient for you. Also, school district, if that is at all important to you guys, maybe it's not, but maybe it is from a resale perspective. We are in District 8. School District 8 is Fountain Fort Carson Schools. This means it gets double funding by both the military as well as the city of Fountain. So it tends to excel uh, both ac academically and athletically with the surplus of funding. Uh, they even have some really cool perks. One such example is that every high schooler, they get a laptop uh, that they get to use while they are in high school. People tend to prefer it to the surrounding districts, District 2 and District 3. Uh, my builder went to District 3. He told me it builds character. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. But I'm going to show you a rendering of what the front of the rec center looks like. And we're actually going to go out there and check out those home sites, see what you think. All right, so here we are at your future home, if you want it to be. It's our Charleston floor plan. Very, very popular. Uh, it's 2,700. Two square feet on a slab. This one is on an unfinished basement. It's going to be about 3,900 square feet. One of the really cool things about this specific community is the fact that we have very stringent plan repeat restrictions. So basically, if we build a home, we have to have three different models in between it before we can build it again. It's going to mean that it's going to be a very visually dynamic neighborhood. It's certainly not going to look like a cookie cutter community. You can see you got great mountain views down here as well. It's got the upgraded B1 exterior, so it's got the front porch with the pillars. Let's walk on in. All right, so this should be done about the end of the month, but it's definitely going to be a little dusty in here, so I apologize for that. Get my finger out of the way. Uh, basically, one of the really cool things about this floor plan is it's not going to feel like a traditional hallway when you walk in. It's very, very wide. Um, I've got a huge wingspan and I can't touch both the uh, walls. You're going to have your nice office area with the French doors right here. You can see we've got the oil rub bronze hardware throughout, the very nice Cheyenne interior doors with the lines in them. I don't usually showcase garages. But since this one is a little atypical, I figured I'd let you check it out. It's a four car tandem garage, so you've got a lot of space. I know it's just you and your son, but it'd be kind of cool to have some extra space for a car or some storage, maybe a boat, who knows. Flip some lights on, basically we've got the Designer kitchen package with the staggered cabinets, crown molding, We've got the dark espresso cabinets, tile backsplash, the very nice 3CM granite countertops instead of that cheap fabricated stuff, gas cooktop. You can see they added the pendant lights into here. We've got can lighting throughout. Really big pantry space. The archways add a lot of visual appeal as well. Tons of natural light in this floor plan. We are going to install your front and rear landscaping, sprinkler, five foot vinyl fence around the rear. Uh, don't have it in quite yet, but we will. But your backyard space is pretty great. Certainly not going to feel like you're right on top of your neighbors. We might build back here eventually, but we're building 387 single families the other way first. So you're going to back up to nothing for at least five to seven years. And even when we do build back here, if we do, we're going to have a 20 foot easement behind the end of your property before the next backyard starts with a paved walking trail. And you can actually just access a rear track access gate out of your property and walk all the way down to the rec center and the pools. Iron twist baluster. You're going to have the nine foot ceilings. We have a basement on this one. It is unfinished, however. We're gonna 
take you up. A lot of people love this loft space. It really gives you a secondary living area. Both the secondary bedrooms are gonna be a great size. They will also both feature walk-in closets. Got your linen closet here, full bath, tile floor, tile surround, and all the bathrooms. Got secondary bedroom number two. If we were on a slab, this is where your mechanicals would be, but since we're on a basement, this is additional finished storage. Always do the laundry room upstairs. Huge master retreat. We have the five piece included. Big garden tub. We also have the luxury master bath on this one where instead of that white Vicro pan, we have the small mud set shower floor with the one by one tiles, the seat in there with the star on cap as well. Walk-in closet, linen closet. And that is your tour of the home. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, we would love to have you here in the community. It's gonna be a really special place. Take care.